Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful card using the Forever Greenery Suite. And the suite has coordinating stamp set with a coordinating die and it has some great elements. The ribbons, this um, beautiful hoop. The paper is to die for. So let me just show you the suite here. Here's the paper. We're not gonna be using any of the paper. I've done a few videos already with the paper. Um, but uh, this is the whole suite, and then you can see it's just, just beautiful. We're going to be using these gold hoops, this stamp set, and the coordinating dies that go with it. And I'll explain more about that as we go along in the project. So here is the finished card, and let me show you how it came together. So I have for my paper, my base is crumb cake, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and one quarter. That's your basic A2 size. And then I have a piece of cherry cobbler. This is five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of crumb cake, which is three and three quarters by five. And those are my layering pieces. And I did make a tiny change from my original one. You'll see that my crumb cake here is um, a little different sized from this one. It's, I cut the size, the, the card I'm going to make today, I cut it a little bigger. So the first thing we need to do is get this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, texture on a card and I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera or not but it is I love it love it love it and I used that I made that by using this new embossing folder it's called old world paper and it is one of the three-dimensional um embossing folders the I'm telling you the dimension on it is just gorgeous so big shot and here I have my Big Shot platform. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, I only need one plate. So I'm going to take my embossing folder and put my crumb cake in there. And I'm gonna put it on my platform. And because this is 3D, I'm going to make sure that this folded side of the embossing folder goes into my machine first. Now I am using the Big Shot. Stampin' Up! now has a new machine. I haven't gotten that yet. So I'm still using my old Big Shot. And I'm gonna use the blue plate because it's just a tiny bit thicker and it'll go through perfectly with these 3D embossing holders. So I'm gonna run it through and run it back. And like magic, I have this phenomenally embossed card piece of paper. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to take my crumb, um, cherry cobbler and I'm going to bring in the classic label punch and I'm just going to scooch this in and punch that out. I'm going to put that aside. I'm just saving myself a little bit of paper here. And while I have this out, I'm going to do my die cutting of these two little leaves here. And why waste my paper? I'm just going to cut that out from here because no one's going to see it anyway. So I'm going to bring my Big Shot back in. And this time, I'm going to use my magnetic plate, an acrylic plate, my piece of cherry cobbler, and my two little dies, another plate, and I'm going to run it through. side and here are my two little flourishes I'm gonna put those aside and now that I've done all the cutting out of my cherry cobbler I'm going to to attach this to my cardstock and I'm going to use the new stamp and seal this is a great adhesive it does have uh, a little learning curve. If you remember the days of the fast fuse where you needed to do a little check at the end, 
I'm finding that's the best way to go with this as well so that, that it doesn't all bunch up. So I'm just going to attach that there. And now I'm going to take this gorgeous, I know I keep calling it gorgeous, but it is, uh, this gorgeously embossed crumb cake. And again, with my stamp and seal. You see that? I got those little holes there, but no one's going to see them. I'm going to just pop that right there. And there's my card base. It is done. And I'm going to put that aside. Now I have a piece of scrap Whisper White. And I'm going to do my stamping. So for my stamping, <clears throat> I'm going to use... I'm going to make one of these smaller flowers, three of these larger flowers, and I'm going to make this little hello. Okay, so I have all of my stamps here, and I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler for hello. And just tap, tap, tap. Straight down and straight up. Oh, look at that. I have a little widow. Not a problem at all. I'm going to just clean my stamp. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to check it this time. And I see my stamp pad must be extra juicy because I can see it's going to happen again. So what I'm going to do is just wipe that off. And now I should be go good to go. And I'm going to just straight down, straight up. And that is perfect. Now I'm going to come in with my green olive. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to stay away from that because I do need to cut that out. I'm going to do three of these larger images. Aren't they gorgeous? and one smaller one. And I'm gonna do that up there. Now, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna bring this up to the camera so you can see. See how it's all shaded? I don't know for sure if this is a distinctive stamp set, but as far as I'm concerned, it should be called a distinctive stamp set because you do have the variation in the colors. So, now we're going to bring back my big shot Again, with the magnetic plate, one acrylic pad, and now I'm going to bring in my dies. This small one here, oh, wrong one, hold on one second. Because there are two of those leaves, one goes in one direction and one goes in the other direction, there are also two of the dies, and I just brought up the wrong one. So I'm going to line that up. Now the new dies are just a tiny bit different than the old ones. And they go right up. The image goes right up against the border of the die. So you know that you're going to get a perfect cut. And now I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to set that up. And because my plate is magnetic, it is going to make cutting this a breeze because it's going not it's not going to shift so now I'm going to bring in my other acrylic plate and you're going to see just how gorgeous these come out beautiful borders beautiful border and now I'm going to come in and die cut my other two same thing just line that up And I find that it's easiest if I um, stand up and look down on it so it doesn't shift and I get the best um, results. All right. One more time. And here we have our third beautifully bordered image. Now I'm going to take my big shot away. 
and I still have my little hello here. So I have to bring my punch back in and I'm going to center that and punch. Okay. So now we're going to assemble the card. And what the first element I'm going to put on my card are these hoops. Part of the suite. And they are simply called gold hoop embellishments. And you get 10 of them. And they come in this cute little, of course it has a, um, a backing on it. So here's, here they are. Now the way I attached mine, I knew pretty much where my leaves were going to go. I have a leaf over here, a leaf over here, and a leaf over here. So I know that if I put stamp and seal along this edge, I'm going to be able to attach this. Okay, so nothing fancy needed, just my good old stamp and seal. And like I said, I know that this section of my card is going to be covered by um, my leaves. So I don't have to be too, too careful about having that show. And so I'm gonna put it down and press. And there it is, it's still, it's nice and secure. See, it's not gonna fall off. All right, perfect. So now I just have to attach my leaves. Well, before I attach my leaves, I'm sorry, I do wanna put my bow on my, um, my hoop. And for that, I'm using the Forever Greenery trim combo pack and it has this really delicate gold um almost like a twine and then it has this great cottony ribbon I love it it's almost like a um not a burlap a um like a cheesecloth so I'm going to slip that underneath here and I'm going to make myself a bow And again, my hoop is nice and secure because I used that um, stamp and seal. The stamp and seal is a little stronger than the old snail. Um, it's kind of in between the old snail and the old fast fuse, if you remember the fast fuse. I'm gonna play with my bow right here just a little bit. Okay, and bring in my shears. And I'm just going to give that a trim. And trim it at an angle. Because that's how I like my um, the tails on my bows to go. Okay, and off go these two remnants. Now I have my, um, my three leaves. And because this is here, this hoop is here, I don't want to attach that flat because it's going to have a lump in it. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to put one towards the bottom and one towards the top. And I'm going to position this gold hoop to go between those two so that it doesn't interfere with the... Um, the placement. So there it is right there. And I'm going to do the same with my other two. One on the top and one on the bottom. First, I'm going to put this bottom one in first. I'm going to just tuck that in just like that. Okay, and again, my gold hoop is in between my two dimensionals. And then I'm going to bring this one in and do the same thing there. Okay, and now remember those two little pieces that we cut out of our backing? I'm going to take a glue pen and I'm going to apply a little bit of adhesive and I'm gonna place it right here so it kind of covers all my overlapping flowers, okay? 
and I'm going to do that with this one as well. And I'm going to put that one right here. Now, you can still see my overlapping flowers there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my, just readjust this just a tad. And then I'm going to move my ribbon down and attach my ribbon so that it doesn't move. Okay, so I've reattached, reattached all of my leaves and I'm just going to scooch this down. And I'm going to take a little glue dot And, no, a little glue dot, and I'm going to put that right here. Oh, this one fell off. Put that right here, and then apply and press down that. Okay, and now we're going to do the um, outside here. And I have my hello and the red, the um, cherry cobbler one. Now I want to have a, a little border on that side. So what I'm going to do is attach some adhesive. And I'm going to layer these just so that there's a little border there. And again, because I'm going to slip it in over here, I'm going to put it in behind that leaf. I am going to use a dimensional right here and right there. So I'm going to turn that over. And I think I'm going to get my mini dimensionals for this one. Hold on one sec. Just grab them. These are great. They're the perfect size. No thumbs today. And I'm going to tuck that back there. Okay. And now I have this little piece here. I'm going to attach my adhesive and tuck that right in over there, behind there. And you can overlap the, um, you can overlap it this way if you'd like, or you can tuck it right in the back. I'm going to just tuck it in the back. And there we go, quick and simple. And I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions at all about the project or any of the products that I've used, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you back here for another video soon.